Searching for the best car deal? That's great, but what happens when the best deal you find isn't anywhere near you? In fact, it's miles away in another state. We're here with the top 10 steps you need to know when buying a car out of state and the common hassles you'll definitely want to avoid. Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, and joining me today is the amazing Elizabeth. Liz, take it away. We're here to guide you through the ins and outs of buying a car from another state in the effort to help you save time, money, and those dreaded hassles. And we have a special giveaway at the end. The process of buying an out-of-state car can easily be very straightforward, but it can also get ugly on you if you don't take all the right steps before you leave home. If you have any questions after seeing this show, feel free to comment below or contact us through our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Let's roll, Liz. All right, number one, get a vehicle history report for used cars. Before anything else, it's critical to obtain a vehicle history report from services like Carfax or AutoCheck. These reports can reveal important issues such as past accidents, flood damage, and equally important, any liens against the vehicle. Ensuring these liens are cleared is essential because you don't wanna be stuck paying someone else's debt. A lot of dealers actually have a link right on their website right now with a free history report available for you. That's right, Liz. Number two, you need an independent inspection on used cars. Getting a used car checked out by an independent mechanic cannot be emphasized enough. Yes. This isn't just a quick look over. This should be a detailed inspection covering everything from engine performance and safety features to electrical systems and the undercarriage. It's best to find a mechanic who's geographically close to the car, but not too close to the seller to make sure they're not just in-town buddies. In order for a proper inspection to be done, the vehicle has to be put up on a hoist. You can do this step early in negotiations or wait until you're on the ground later. Just make sure that you don't skip it. We also have a couple of different videos on pre-purchase inspections linked in the video cards. Number three, handling state sales tax. This is a big one. When it comes to taxes and state fees, listen carefully, in most states, you need to pay sales tax to your own state only. Wherever the car will be registered, that's where the taxes and fees are paid. The only exception to this rule is California. So say you're from New Mexico and you buy your car in California, you'll pay California their taxes, drive the car home, and pay state taxes and fees again in New Mexico. That's the greedy Californians for you. Them dang Californians. <laughs> Just don't buy a car out of state from California. There. So in any other state, you have the dealer sell you the car and later you go to your own DMV and register and pay taxes yourself. You can call your DMV before you leave to double check what you'll owe so you can plan ahead. If you're not buying from California, but rather another state, be careful with dealers who insist that you must pay them. It's happened plenty of times that the tax money never gets paid out to the correct state. And that really sucks when that happens. Yeah, totally. Number four, safety and emissions testing. Each state has different requirements for vehicle emissions and inspections. You'll need to verify what inspections are necessary in your home state. These could include emissions and safety tests and odometer verifications. Getting these done and obtaining the necessary certification is crucial for the registration process at your home state DMV. Make sure you do a little research in your own state before you buy. Yep. Number five, temporary registration. If you're driving the car back yourself, temporary registration is a must. You can't drive across the country without a legitimate plate or permit of some kind on your vehicle. Oftentimes, this can be obtained from the state where you bought the car, or in most states, you can get a temporary travel permit from your home state website or DMV office. Ensure all paperwork is in order, like the sales contract showing the purchase price, with proof that taxes were collected if the collection was done by the dealer. You need the evidence on dealer letterhead if you pay the dealer the taxes due in your home state. Don't forget to do this in case a dealer engages in funny business. We've heard of dealers failing to actually send in the out-of-state tax payment far too many times, and the problem is that there's no accountability and you'll be stuck paying those taxes twice unless you have a clear record that you paid them to the dealer. Number six, insurance is also a key part of this. Insurance coverage is indeed another critical step. Confirm with your insurance provider about how new car purchases are handled. If you currently have a full coverage policy on one or more of your existing cars, your policy may automatically cover new purchases for a limited period of time. Just ask your insurance rep to verify this is true. If not, you'll need immediate coverage, especially if you're financing the purchase. Yes. Knowing the insurance laws and ensuring you meet or exceed the minimum required coverage standard in your state is also vital. Number seven, get that title. When it comes to the title, following up on it is everything. Most states require you to register your new car within a certain period, often 30 days, to avoid late fees. If the car comes from a dealer, they might assist you with the out-of-state registration and paperwork. 
Be cautious with non-standard titles like salvage titles as these can complicate the registration process and you don't want to buy a salvage car anyway. Yeah, and number eight, verify the VIN. A VIN verification is a simple but powerful step. You can do this on sites like Ben Verified or by asking for an auto check or Carfax report we mentioned mm -hmm. earlier. This step helps ensure the vehicle isn't stolen and also that it matches the make and model the dealer has advertised on their website. This process can sometimes actually be required by your state DMV as part of the registration process. Number nine, understanding the full cost. Crunch the numbers thoroughly. Use our out-the-door templates that we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, it's in the blog, and make sure you know what you'll be paying in writing. Consider the purchase price, taxes, registration fees, and any potential travel costs for picking up the car. These expenses can add up quickly, potentially offsetting the savings from buying out of state. If you're having it shipped to you, that's another expense to consider against the value of what you're saving. And number 10, test drive locally first. Even if your heart is set on a specific car, Try to test drive a similar model close to home. You must know that you actually like the vehicle you're after and that it fits you well. Oh yeah. This gives you a clear idea of what to expect and helps confirm whether the out-of-state hassle is even worth it. And there you have it. These detailed steps should help you navigate the complexities of buying a car out of state. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful tips from the Homework Guy Show. Courtesy of the legend, Kevin Hunter himself, and of course me, his loyal sidekick, Elizabeth. If you are actually seriously interested in an out-of-state car purchase, don't go in blind. Use the tips we shared today and consider visiting our website, thehomeworkguy.com, where you can find plenty of options to get us directly involved in your car deal and ride shotgun with you. Direct help from us is a game changer. I might add that if you are indeed buying a car over state lines and the points we made here today sound a bit intimidating for you, or if you have a looming deadline to get a vehicle and an urgent need to have one right away and there isn't time for optimum timing on your part, well, there's a surefire way to make sure you don't screw this up. Contact Liz today and ask how you can get our resident car deal superhero, Stuart, to help you navigate the alligator-infested waters of out-of-state car buying. <laughs> just like in the Minions, our Stuart produces great deals, and it seems to me like he just hypnotizes the bad guys in a car dealership. <laughs> they do what he wants for you. It is pretty magical. Don't forget, if you're the do-it-yourself type of person or you just want to shop around for a while, we also have help desk service available with direct connection to us. Email support starts at $24.99. You get black book values, contract reviews, and generally good advice. There's also a text support package available that includes both me and Kevin for $49.99. And yes, even if you're not interested in our hassle-free car buying service with Stuart, you can always schedule a $99 phone call with the legend himself, Kevin Hunter. He always looks forward to talking to our viewers. By the way, friends, our new book, Buy Smart, Drive Confidently, has been selling like hotcakes, and there's an audio version of it coming soon, recorded in Kevin's amazing voice. Thank you to all of you for your great support. Now, if you've made it this far, I have a special offer for the first five people to send me a text at 701-441-3399 and say, I just watched your out-of-state car buying video. I will give away a free book copy to the first five viewers to respond by text to this message. Thanks everyone for coming back. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Thanks for listening.